Yeah. The name's Hussy, people call me the Huss. My first name is Andrew, but that's rarely discussed. I'm a rap for you, and if you're not impressed, it's okay because I'm whiter than Doc Scratch text. It's a good week if I can squeeze in a shower, cause you people cry if I don't update every few hours. And if by some miracle I get spare time, I'll be macking on Friska, cause that girl's so fine. Got OTPs, I'll sink all your ships, yeah. with a smile all the while on my massive lips. Hello, hello. My name is Boris, and you're watching Hussy Rumpus, a clown lore subseries. Here we talk about the Hussies' projects such as High Swap, Homestuck, and for today's purposes, Psycholonials. And since this is the first video on the topic, let's ask a question. What is Psycholonials? Well, Psycholonials was a nine-part series released in 2021 by the Huss after Homestuck died down. Available through Steam, the visual novel tells the story of a girl named Jen, spelled Z-H-E-N. She starts in a bad place, and by the end of the story has permanently clownified the world. Helped by her best friend Abby, this is where we get into today's topic. Abby. Abby is an Amazonian lady from Nantucket, Massachusetts. She has an online influencer with about 3 million followers. Being very tall and blue-haired, Abby mostly supports Jen throughout the story, both emotionally and financially, as she is revealed to be the daughter of two Bezos-level rich people. She is also shown to be both a horse girl and a K-pop mega fan, but she hides her K-pop fanhood from her followers to avoid being judged. But why is Abby in this video? Apple Pie is why. Abby creates a clown sauna at the start of Jen's ascension, her character being a blue-haired clown. Her clown name being Apple Pie, she is a horse-gendered woman. Don't ask, I'll go into horse and clown gender in another video. Anyways, Apple Pie becomes the secretary of Japes as Jen rises in status, surpassing her in followers. But as the events of Cyclonios gets more intense, Abby steps back. As Jocelyn tries to surpass her and gets punished from it, she becomes more withdrawn. Starting to not just drink wine with Jen, but also smoke weed, which she claims she wouldn't do beforehand. All while Jen descends deeper into the Jubilite movement. Abby's parents are doxxed and killed, the mansion the Jubilites operate out of is attacked, and Abby's horse David Hasselhoof is killed. Abby seemingly disappears after this, grieving David, but she doesn't want anything to do with the Jubilite movement anymore. But Abby is not about to leave her friend behind, she invites her to join her in Fiji, and they leave. Abby and Jen spend the time on Fiji together and even eventually pair up and marry and get a horse named Percy. And the gals live happily ever after. Now, I really like Psycholonials. I think Abby's a good character and the fall from greatness is heartbreaking. But even at her lowest, she would not abandon the girl she loved. But with that being said, I'm going to end it here. Please subscribe to join our alley of clowns. Ring that bell to catch more episodes when they come out. And I will see you in the next episode of Clown War. Bye!